Hey, Faithful. How you doing? Well, it's a good-looking Tuesday morning, a great day, a terrific Tuesday to be sharing the good news. It is. It is a great day on purpose, and I'm going to tell you why. But right now, here he is, the one and only, Pastor Mark Barrows of Christ in Acts 9. Take it away, Pastor. All right, on this terrific Tuesday, it is our great privilege and joy to be bringing you news that we all can use the good news about Jesus. And that good news is Father God's eternal plan as he chose you and I in Christ from the foundation of the world to the adoption of children that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. In fact, the word in the King James is sons. I use the word children for the purpose of the inclusiveness of that word. However, the use of the word sons is not a gender preference or put down, but it really, whenever you see sons in the new covenant in the scripture, understand that he's talking about that we are given in Christ a standing just as Christ is, that we become as he is new creatures in Christ. Old things pass away, all things become new as we accept our Lord Jesus Christ. Well, friend, we're talking still about the wisdom of God and unpacking those things. And we shared with you yesterday from Jesus's parable of the sower and he talking about the, what the kingdom of God is like. He said, is this a man sowing seed? And he began to describe the nature of the process of the seed sowing, that it was the same sower saying the same seed and that sower was indiscriminate. So those three things are true, but the, re the results were different. It was based upon the soil, the nature of the soil, and the receipt of that seed. Now, again, it was the same sower saying the same seed, and he, was, he did not discriminate. Whatever ground there was, he sowed the seed upon it. But the result of what happened with that seed was the condition and nature of the ground. You said, why do I need to know that? Because Jesus often taught us, and this is the wisdom of God, take heed what you hear. That is to say, we need to be more mindful of what it is we're hearing. Sometimes we can hear things, and as it says, it goes through one ear and out the other. But as the Apostle Peter encourages us, we need to take the more earnest heed to the things that we hear, lest at any time we should let them slip. And, and not only that, but he also said to us, take heed how you hear. See, you need to be mindful. When you're hearing, are you listening? And when you're listening, are you hearing? On many occasions, he said, let him that hath an ear, let him or her hear. Why would he tell us that? Because he's saying, be purposeful, be mindful and intentional about what you're giving your attention to and how attentive you are in what you're giving your attention to and specifically giving your attention to him and being attentive to him. Now listen to what he says in Mark chapter four, verse 11. As he was giving this parable and explaining it to them, the disciples asked, why do you speak in parables? And he said this, he said, for unto you, it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God. Isn't that something? Disciples of Christ are granted and walk into and have a great privilege of knowing the mystery of the kingdom of God. You see, when Jesus came preaching in Matthew chapter four, the Bible says he became preaching, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. He was coming to reestablish and restore to man something that God committed from the very beginning, his kingdom. You see, God's plan in this world for you and I was to expand his kingdom and culture through us in this world. Sometimes we think of ourselves as just puny humans, inconsequential specks on this, on this earth, um, without really much power or ability or anything. That's not how God sees us. That's not how he makes us. When we embrace and know that we as followers of Christ are given to know the mystery of the kingdom, you know what we'll do? We'll do what he said in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. We'll seek first the kingdom because there is no higher order for life and living 
than the kingdom of God. We'll put everything in the context of the kingdom of God and we'll follow and pursue and pursue and pursue and seek. He says, when we seek, we find. When we knock, the doors open. When we ask, we receive. What are you seeking today? What are you giving your attention to? And are you giving attention to what you're giving your attention to? Hey, today, friend, the mysteries of the kingdom are ours as followers of Christ. May we follow him and so discover all the realm of his power and his goodness and his grace as it is granted for those who follow him to know. This has been an outreach of Connected Church. Connect with us, connected-church.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and of course, right here on this Gospel Explosions Outreach to the Tennessee Valley and beyond every single day. Knowing this, together, 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 you and I, we are the difference that makes the difference as we awaken to God's purpose of knowing him and his love for us and mobilize to his mission of making him known and sharing his love with others. That's good news on this terrific Tuesday morning, Faithful. Amen. Amen. Well, today is a great day for me every day. But today is a great day, a special great day. I want to be a grandmother. Awesome. Well, congratulations. <laughs> congratulations. Yeah. yeah, I'll tell you what, I'm going to have a grandson. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow, wow. <laughs> I, Oh, it seems like it just runs, you know, right there with me. <laughs> Glory be to God. Yeah, well, hey, I am so glad to hear that. We celebrate that. And uh, your grandson is on the way or come or anticipate. Oh, yeah, on the way, on the way, around 10 o'clock. All right, way. awesome. Well, well, we pray that uh, that's just uh, everything goes great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congratulations. Oh, yeah, I've been leaving here around 10.30, you know, head up to the house to the city, my grandson, his mother, you know, I'm a mother, of course, I've been right there. It's been a long time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, hey, yeah, hey, on behalf of my wife and I and uh, the yeah. connected church family, we just uh, celebrate with you guys and thank God for a healthy grandson and the mom yes, and the whole family that all is well, and this is the beginning of great joy. Yeah, we just stick a pink, and that's an odd color for a black woman. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. I tell you, but it's all his way, all his way, you know. My yeah. son is 32 year old, be 33. I said, well, you know what? Yeah, plenty of time to be to yourself, and, and so did I. <laughs> yeah. Plenty of time to be ourselves. Now we got a, he got a son, I got a grandson. So it's about time now. <laughs> oh, that's, that's great. That's great. Well, I know that uh, you're going to. Be a great grandmom, and uh, yeah, yeah, you got many, many days of great joy watching your your grandson uh, grow up, and hey, uh, doing what grand grandmoms and granddads do. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Well, just want to share that, but anyway, you have a great day on purpose, and tell your lovely wife and your mother-in-law and your mother. I said hello. All right, surely will, and uh, blessings yeah, upon. Yeah, hello. Blessings. But then have a great day on purpose. Yes, ma'am. We sure do it. And uh, hey, you have a great day as well. And uh, uh, great love and blessings upon the family. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All, right. All right. Well, hey, listen. <clears throat> life. God is the life giver. Thank God for the life that he gives for us to enjoy. Well, the kingdom of God. You know, the wisdom of God, the mysteries of God, it is given to you to know the mystery of the kingdom of God, all of the truths of God's kingdom. Um, for us to, to know it is given to us to know it. And uh, if it's given to us to know it, we want to explore and to understand uh, all of the kingdom truths. That is where the wisdom of God is. And I want to tell you this, it's hidden in Christ. We're going to talk more about that and unpack that. Uh, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of reverence, the reverence of God, the reverence of the kingdom of God, the reverence of the king, Jesus, the king who is the king in the kingdom that Father God has appointed, uh, the, the heir of all things, the one whom God has decided to invest the fullness of the Godhead bodily. It's in him 
and it is him that we live and move and have our being. It is him in us, the great mystery that is revealed, the kingdom of God in you, in us, through us. Hey, much more to say about this, but we pray that you have a terrific Tuesday uh, doing this, remembering always that God loves himself some you. We do too, that you matter to God and that you matter to us. Do have a terrific Tuesday knowing that you're authorized to enjoy the mysteries of the kingdom, to walk in, experience them, and living them every single day by the one who made the day and the one who made you. Have a terrific Tuesday and a terrific week. Be terrific. Share some terrificness with others.